Hey guys, welcome back to Vanguard Motor Sales. I'm Greg and that is one beautiful 1963 Impala. Under the hood is a 412 stroker. And in the cowl, in that body tag, there's an 875. And you Impala guys know that means bucket seats and SS. She is beautiful, man. Look at the grill, the bumper, the bumper guards. All the finishes are looking absolutely gorgeous on this thing. That chrome is definitely new and it is shining and looking sweet. She's one beautiful car here, and that 412 stroker, man, you want to talk about giddy up and go? This baby's got some giddy up and went. All this paint is looking beautiful. The body lines are looking great. The body man did a beautiful job on this thing, and then the guy laying down the paint also just killed it. The wheel and tire combo on it's killer. The stance on it is killer. That molding going down the sides looking sweet. Just love, I tell you, the metallic in this thing, and it is just as soft as can be. And look how easy this door opens up. You see how easy that is? Isn't that sweet? And look at that custom door panel. Beautiful. And then all the custom paint work there on the dash. Center console chrome is looking sweet. All the upholstery on the seat, front and rear, all custom. Package, track, package tray back there is looking sweet. Headliner looking good. That's all custom. Great looking carpeting in there. Got some floor mats in there. You can see the AC vents there mounted underneath the dash. You look down that big long quarter panel. I tell you what, that quarter panel is like, I mean, it's close to seven feet, maybe seven and a half feet long, and it is straight as can be. Now, with that 412 stroker in it, the ass end of this thing is what most people are going to be looking at. And look at that thing. You want to talk about sharp? Love the panel in the back. Can you imagine if you had to find one of these? I tell you, I'm sure the rest of them in the world are all bent up and look like shit. This one's looking beautiful. In the trunk, they've done a bunch of custom work in here also. Plenty of room in there for groceries or a couple of guys if you want to sneak them in the car show so you don't have to uh, pay their entry fee. I'd say drive-in, but I don't know if there's any drive-ins around anymore. She's gorgeous. Even the paintwork on the bottom side of the deck lid. Then it's got the dual antennas too, which is super cool. You look down the passenger side there, man. I tell you, you can't even see the door. That's how nice that door fits. Now at Vanguard Motor Sales, we don't do any consignment whatsoever. That means we own this car. You know we did our homework before we picked it out. Then the first thing that happens to every car is they go up on the lift so we can inspect them and take pictures and finish this video up on the lift. Let's take the little 63 for a ride, baby. You want to talk about sweet? We got a 63 Impala SS here, man. Sounding amazing. Just cruising as smooth as can be. Now at Vanguard Motor Sales, talking about smooth, we can deliver this 63 anywhere in the world. You just call Tom, he'll tell you all about it, man. Tell you what, the power steering's feeling good. The power brakes are feeling good. Got a really nice rumble to it too. Now we're gonna take it back to the shop and get it up in the air so you can check out just how nice the bottom side is. I'll tell you what, it's absolutely beautiful under there. I've had a chance to look at it already. Driving sweet, that power steering does just feel easy as can be. I love that old school power steering, man. 
You can see it's going down the road straight, no hands on the wheel. Just a sweet automobile here, man. And these things are so rare. You do not see these very often. A lot of times these cars got all chopped up and turned into low riders and turned into drag cars and stuff, but not this one. Somebody did a beautiful job restoring it. You can see the dash here. See how it's all covered, looking sweet. Everything's painted up nice. Speedo's working, the tack is working there. We got a um, real nice console added underneath here with AC vents and some gauges in there. The center console, I love that. Got a nice armrest here. Tell you what, fun, fun car here to drive. Take this car anywhere. Everybody in, uh, appreciates an Impala, especially one sounding this good and looking this good. Listen to that. Now I just barely touch accelerator on that, man. She wakes right up and away you go. Now we're gonna put this thing up on the lift here when we get back to the shop. If you wanna send an inspector, we'd love to have your inspector come out. If you wanna come out yourself, that's even better. Come on out, we're only about 20 minutes from the airport. Also, make sure you share this video with your buddies and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We're always putting up new content, new cars, just about every day. So stick with us. This one's going up in the air for you right now. All right, we're underneath this baby now and you can see it's been cleaned up, painted chassis black under here and looking sweet as can be. Now, a lot of people might think this is the gas tank. This is actually the trunk floor. The gas tank's up here and it's been all restored and painted up looking good. You can see it's got new shocks on it. It's been upgraded to disc brakes out back. It's got all brand new uh, brake lines there. Looks like the upper control arms there are all adjustable. It's got aftermarket lower control arms on it. Coil springs hold it up. Everything looking beautiful. Take a look at this uh, stainless steel exhaust. Now we got flanges right here, so if you want to take them apart, you can take them apart real nice and easy. Well, I forgot to mention, we do have Posi back here, and it's right around the 4.0 gear. I rolled it over and counted it. And the way you do that is you roll the tire over, count one revolution of the tire to four revolutions of the drive shaft. That tells you you got right around the 4.0. It's probably a 4.10. I probably made a little bit of a mistake. Um, Four-speed automatic trans. Jet coated headers looking sweet. All the suspension up here looks like it's been rebuilt. Uh, disc brakes up here also. Everything's been painted and cleaned up real nice under here. Steering gear, the guys will check all that out, make sure it's in good shape. I see new bushings on the sway bar there. You can see it looks like it's got new cotter pins and everything and the uh, ball joints. Uh, the bumpers are just as clean on the back as they are on the front and the chrome on the bumpers is looking brand new. Reflections in that chrome are looking sweet. Then we got some good looking uh, radial TAs on these uh, painted rims with the nut covers. These are 215 7014s. And then as you look down the side here, man, that rocker's in beautiful shape. The bottom side of the quarter panel's looking good. This bottom edge of the quarter panel is a good telltale sign. You get your hand up in there. That's nice smooth metal back there. Then you can see this rocker pinch weld's looking good. All the floor braces are also looking good. I just love the exhaust system. Beautiful job on that, whoever built that. Then we got some deep dish uh, wheels back here. We got a lot more rubber on the road. And if I could see the size, there it is. These are 275 60 15s. And then again, they're deep dishes with the nut covers on there. Well, let's get this thing down on the ground and take a look under the hood. All right, under the hood here, we got a little stroker motor looking sweet. It's got a, a single plane um, Edelbrock intake on it. Looks like it's one of those air gap intakes. And it does have a Holley carburetor. It is a four barrel. We got some great looking chrome valve covers on there. Actually, it looks like polished aluminum. This is a 412 stroker. Uh, we've got... Um, Great looking setup here. It looks like a March pulley setup. The water pump's all polished up. The AC uh, compressor's all polished up. The uh, alternator's polished up. The power steering pump's polished up. 
These are actually the, um, one's probably an overflow and one of them is for the power steering here. So this one I believe is the overflow for the radiator. Then this has got the power steering fluid in it. And then we've got the power booster here for power brakes. We've got a Corvette style master cylinder there. Um, the inner wheelhouses are all painted up looking sweet. Got a good looking air cleaner on there. All the hoses are in good shape. We've got a good looking uh, aluminum radiator in it. I mean, everything about this thing, man, is absolutely beautiful. Then the bottom side of the hood's all painted up looking good. Guys, give us a call, 248-974-9513 in my Vanguard Motor Sales Park District in your driveway.